begin by finding a comfortable position for your body. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Maybe it's standing up. Find a position of your body that feels good for you right now. Allow yourself to enjoy the comfort of that position. Feeling the ground supporting you. Perhaps the surface of your chair or cushion or a bed if you're lying down. Allow yourself to sink into your posture, being supported and comforted by it. Scan your body for any muscular tension that might be present, perhaps in your face or your jaw, your shoulders, your arms, your legs, your feet. If you find muscular tension anywhere in your body, invite it to relax, to loosen, to let go. Feel your body relaxing. From this comfortable, relaxed posture, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Feel your body finding this comfortable posture, relaxing into it, and allowing a gentle, easy smile on your face. Feel your body settling in and relaxing for metta practice. Having prepared your body for metta practice, begin to prepare your mind. Consider things in your life that you're grateful for. Anything at all, big or small, ordinary or unusual. Probably you had food to eat today, a place to sleep. Maybe something special happened to you today. 
whatever it is, reflect on things in your life that you're grateful for. As you consider these things in your mind, notice if there's any response or resonance in the body. Perhaps your smile broadens. Perhaps there's a jump of warmth in your heart. If there's any response in your emotional body to reflecting on the things that you're grateful for, notice that and really enjoy it. Soak it up, even if it's small. Continue to reflect on things that you're grateful for for another moment. For tonight's practice period, we'll be working with an easy to love person or animal, trying on different people that it's easy for us to send love to. In metta practice, it's totally okay if it's easy to feel love. You're not doing it wrong if it's easy. To begin, consider a baby. Perhaps it's a real baby in your life or an imaginary baby. Doesn't matter so much. Bring to mind, visualize a very young child, an infant. is a new being. It's been brought into the world. It's totally pure and innocent, worthy of love. Visualize this child, real or imaginary, in your mind's eye.
perhaps just imagining this young child brings joy into your heart, love and affection. If so, notice that, allow it, and enjoy it. Perhaps just visualizing this baby is sufficient. But if you'd like, you're also welcome to use mental talk or phrases to direct love towards this child. Perhaps a simple phrase like, I love you. Or you could use a custom phrase like, oh, sweet child, how I love you. I feel so much love for you. Just want to protect you. Or any phrase that you like, really. Doesn't matter so much. Use some combination of image and mental talk or just one or the other, to direct love and affection towards this child. If there's any resonance or response in the emotional body, sense of joy or love or care, notice that and really enjoy it. Feel the love. Use the images and or phrases that cause a response for you in your body. If you find that the images you're using aren't causing a response, try mental talk. If you're finding that using phrases isn't causing a response, Try bringing back the image of the young child. You can always try something different. On the other hand, if you're enjoying the way that you're doing this practice, really enjoy that. Feel the love.
continue to practice loving this baby for another moment. Very good. Now, select an animal to work with. You could use a real animal in your life or an imaginary animal. Some good options are using a puppy or a kitten or a panda bear. You could use any animal you like, real or imaginary. Select an animal that's easy for you to feel love for. And again, visualize this animal in your mind's eye. Perhaps the very image of this animal brings you joy, makes you feel love. If so, really enjoy that. Feel that love. Again, feel free to use phrases in your mind to direct love towards this animal, if that feels helpful. You can use a phrase like, I love you, or I care about you so much, or I want you to be so happy. or any phrase that feels good for you in relationship with this animal that you've selected. The most important thing is that it feels good for you, that it resonates for you. Use any image or mental talk that makes you feel love for this animal.
doesn't matter whether you use image or talk or both. Doesn't matter what content you use in your mind. Go in the direction of feeling the most love and happiness that you possibly can. there's any response, resonance, reaction in the body. Notice that and really enjoy it. Soak it up, savor it. Feel love for this animal. Very good. Now, if you'd like, choose a real person in your life, an adult. It's relatively easy for you to feel love for. It may not be the same uncomplicated love that you feel for a baby or an animal. Pick a person that's relatively easy for you to feel love for. someone who you care for deeply, who makes you happy. Visualize them in your mind's eye. And again, if you like, you can use mental talk as well to direct love towards this person. Using a phrase like, I love you, or I want you to be so happy. Or a custom phrase that feels good for you in this particular connection. Whether you're using image or mental talk or both, direct love towards this person and enjoy any emotional response in the body.
Very good. Take a moment to look back on this practice period. We directed love towards a young child, a baby, towards an animal, towards a real adult in our life. Call what it was like to, for you to direct love towards these people, towards these beings. Perhaps one was easier than another. Consider the relative ease or difficulty of the three people that you worked with. Ideally, in metta practice, we have at least one person or animal that's easy for us to feel love for. It may take some experimentation to find that person or animal, whether they're real or imaginary. Use this time to remember what it was like for you to direct love towards these different beings. And as you're ready, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 